Dr. Lucas Fry. We are at the press club where Governor Edwards spoke to the crowd today, and he had this to say about uh, where's his opposition and what is his plan. Uh, but I did want to, to start off by saying not only where is Eddie, but what's his plan? Uh, why does he run from the media every time you try to ask him about his vision for our state? Uh, what his plans are to move us forward. What are the specific things that he wants to do? Um, it's partly because he really doesn't have comprehensive plans or knowledge about how state government works for that matter. Um, and then the other part of it is the plans that he has are really, really bad for our state. We know that unemployment is the lowest in almost 12 years at 4.3 percent, more than two full percentage points lower than when I became governor. The governor went on to explain that uh, unemployment is still very important on his mind and he is very pleased with the progress that he's made in the past, at least taking credit for most of it. Here's what he had to say about future plans for employment and the growth of Louisiana. Here before you today, because I'm actually proud of where our state is, especially relative to where we were four years ago. You will remember the largest budget deficit ever in the history of our state. It exceeded $2 billion. That's what I walked into, despite the fact that my predecessor had inherited about a billion and a half in surplus. Uh, but we're doing much, much better today precisely because we came together in a bipartisan way. At the press club, the governor addressed education and what's going on with teachers and their pay raises and everyone's concern with education in the entire state of Louisiana, including the governor. Here's what he had to say about education. Over the eight years before I became governor, under Bobby Jindal, the state of Louisiana cut support for higher education more than any other state in the nation while raising tuition more than any other state in the nation. An absolute disastrous recipe. Uh, so we're doing better. Uh, the Medicaid expansion is a big reason why. It helped us address the budget deficit. It saved us more than $300 million in the first two years. Simply put, someone uninsured costs the state more than somebody who's eligible for Medicaid uh, through the expansion. Uh, because it's 40 cents on the dollar from the care, um, I'm sorry, from the general fund for care for someone who's uninsured, and it's 10 cents on the dollar from a statutory dedication from someone who is entitled uh, to and eligible for uh, the Medicaid expansion. That concludes what the governor had to say at the press club today. But we hope to bring you more from the race for governor and who and why they want to be in the governor's mansion. <laughs>